in the Middle Ages, clockmaking is a large-scale, expensive, mechanical enterprise which, first of all, involves building large-scale public works. I mean, think of it as part of the big super technology of the 1300s and the 1400s. But from the 15th century onwards, first of all with the development of springs to drive smaller and smaller and to a certain extent more and more precise clocks, clocks are not only now great public systems of time measurement, they're miniaturized, they're brought into the home, they become portable. And at the same time we see the development of large numbers of private artisanal clock makers and the guilds of clockmakers begin to be set up defending established practices but also marketing these extraordinarily elegant and ingenious devices on a relatively large scale. Now I think at least three different features of time culture are in play in the 1400s, 1500s. First of all a drive for precision. I mean we're still dealing with pretty inaccurate devices and there's definitely a demand there in, in society for better and better timekeeping. And that's partly because of work rates, partly because of efficiency. These are demands coming from merchants, but from, a, but from other sectors of society too. Secondly, there's privacy, domesticity, bringing these small timekeepers into the home. And the home will be numerate, it will be able to tell the time, and the idea of portable time, that you can carry your own time around with you, becomes important. But one of the preconditions, thirdly, of portable domestic time is standardization. In order for watches, portable clocks, to work, you have to have systems of time regulation. There have to be central clocks or central time systems against which these smaller devices can be measured, regulated and calibrated. So I think it's right to say that the production of very large-scale networks of mechanized time has to go hand in hand with the production of social networks of regulation and measurement. And that's what we start to see in the 1500s and 1600s.